and you're like, why? You go, sweet. Look at that milky goodness. Bam, 46 degrees. That's 46 degrees. That's that cold. Is cold. That is cold right now. I that love that. <laughs> Before we start, let's do a timer. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, <laughs> hold on. This is a this long is countdown. 10, 9, 8. We can start. We can start. We can start it. We can start it. We can start it. We could have started anytime. Oh, okay. but that was fun. Hello. My balls dropped a little. Hold on. Let me do that again. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jess from Chugalipo, and today I am going to tell you about the history of pagers. I don't, I'm not drunk enough yet for this. You would think otherwise, but. Pagers, AKA beepers, right? They were first invented in like the 1950s for dudes like doctors. Before that, like doctors were walking around and they were like, oh, like, I don't know if anybody's sick or they're dying or like someone's been in a bike accident or something. But then like pagers came along and they're like, oh wow, like look at that. Like somebody's dying right now. Then in 1960, this dude, John Francis Mitchell, he walks into a boardroom, he's like, hey guys, I have an idea. How about we take these cool like doctor pagers and add radio and walkie talkie stuff to them? And the dudes were like, yo, multi-name dude, like that idea is a gas, you know, or like whatever they said back then. Oh, it's not rocking it a little bit. And thus was born the first transistor pager. Fast forward to the 90s and people were like, gag me with a spoon, have you seen these new pagers? And like everyone had them, not just doctor businessmen, but like lawyers and detectives and Corey Feldman. <laughs> Corey Feldman. But since you could only page numbers, like this whole style of pager linko, link? Linko? Sort of evolved. 911 meant call me right now, like right the frickin' frack now. And 611 meant I'm sorry. I used that one a lot. 